Hello, in this video, I will talk about thyroid hormone synthesis, its regulation, and the mechanism of action at a molecular level. So, near around the neck, we have a butterfly shaped small gland known as thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is situated just below the hyoid bone on the, on, on the trachea. And the thyroid gland is kind of joined with each other by a region known as isthmus. If we take a cross section of the thyroid gland, we would see that inside the thyroid gland there are several follicles known as thyroid follicles. And these follicles are, are formed of follicular cells. Inside the follicle, there are colloidal substances known as colloid. And the thyroid, thyroid gland gets its blood supply from superior and inferior thyroid artery. And there are other connective tissue connecting all these thyroid follicles. Now, first we would ask that how thyroid hormone is synthesized at a molecular level. So thyroid hormone synthesis requires iodine and the iodine is supplied from blood. So from the blood, iodine is getting inside the thyroid follicular cell by a secondary active transport. And this secondary active transport allows iodine to get inside the thyroid follicular cell along with sodium. Now, inside the thyroid follicular cell, the iodine is converted into a, a, a elementary form of iodine by the, active, by the activity of the enzyme thyroperoxidase. Now, the, endoplasm, the, the genome of the thyroid, the thyroid follicular cell would produce something called the thyroid globulin or the thyroglobulin. So it's a scaffold on which the synthesis of thyroid hormones would be done. So it's very important. Now inside the thyroid follicular cell and on the thyroglobulin, there are several types of modification, especially iodination is happening. So iodine is attached on these uh, thyroglobulin, which consists several, uh, mo several molecules of tyrosine connected to each other by this globular protein. Now, iodine is attached to the thyroid tyrosines and form either monoiodotyrosine or 3,5-diiodotyrosine or TIT. Now, also, this monoiodotyrosine and diiodotyrosine can fuse together to form a triiodothyronine or T3, or DIT DIT can combine with each other to form tetraiodothyronine or T4. So T3 and T4 are the key hormones secreted by the thyroid gland. Now, what happens is, after production of T3 and T4, it is secreted into the colloid and there it is stored and waiting for a signal to tell it to release the T3 and T4. And we would look at what the signal is. But in brief, the signal comes from the anterior pituitary known as thyroid stimulating hormone. So when the thyroid stimulating hormone comes, these, these uh, thyroglobulin are actually cleaved and it is secreted into the blood. And from the blood stream, it can go to the target organs. Since we have talked about how the thyroid hormone is produced, now we should think about how the thyroid hormone production and secretion is regulated. So, Thyroid hormone regulation requires hypothalamus and the pituitary. So, just on the brain stream, there is a region known as hypothalamus. So, in the, and from the hypothalamus, there is a gland which is protruding out, is known as pituitary. And also, we have our thyroid gland at the base of the hyoid bone and on the trachea. So, the most important hormone released by the hypothalamus is known as thyroid releasing hormone or TRH. And then it acts on pituitary and tells it to secrete TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. TSH acts upon the thyroid gland and makes them to secrete T3 and T4, which are key thyroid hormones. Now, T3 and T4 has widespread role on heart, muscle, liver, and overall 
T3 and T4 is very important and controls various aspects of metabolism. Now, important to note that there is a negative feedback regulation controlling the thyroid secretion. So when there is too much level of T3 and T4, it tells the hypothalamus to release less amount of TRH and thereby secretion of T3 and T4 and production of the T3 and T4 could be checked. Now, thyroid hormone has widespread role on heart. For example, on the heart muscle, it increases the number of beta adrenergic receptor. It also enhances the response of catecholamines. Also, it increases the proportion of alpha myosin heavy chain on the cardiomyocytes. Now, in the adipose tissue, it works in a catabolic fashion and it exerts a catabolic effect. So, it helps in uh, degradation of the fat into fatty acids. So, it, in one word, it helps in lipolysis. Also, in case of the muscles, it breaks down protein into peptides. It overall increases the metabolic rate of the body. Also, thyroid hormone is known to increase the production of LDL receptors and thereby regulating lipid metabolism and especially the lipoprotein metabolism. Apart from that, thyroid hormone exerts many other functions and also help in vitamin A production. So there are a wide variety of role in thyroid by regulated by the thyroid hormone. Now let's just quickly look at at a molecular level how thyroid hormone exerts its function. So thyroid hormone is known to activate genes. So thyroid hormone binds to its specific receptor or thyroid receptor which is present at the nucleus. So thyroid hormone receptors are the nuclear receptors. Thyroid hormone receptors bind to its co-receptor in the nucleus itself and activate specific gene which exerts its cellular and physiological effect on specific organs. Now, thyroid hormone is bound to this thyroid receptor. Thyroid receptor is basically a zinc finger mo motif containing transcription factor. So it would interact with other co-activators and co-represent to regulate gene expression. And it binds to specific region of the DNA known as thyroid response element to exert its function. So that, that was all about how, how thyroid hormone is produced, regulated and synthesized. So if you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.